<laughs> Yo, back. Back again. Back once again. Yes, and we are resuming from the last video. I decided to just go ahead and just put this up here, do this, get this over with. You know me, I always have to go pee. Why did I always do that? Wash your hands. Now you got urine all over your face. I don't know. Alright. Let's see what's in this damn box. We're all curious, right? We all want to know what's in the box. What's in the box? There's a phone? A camera or something? Is that a camera or a phone? Some origamis, a chip, a phone. Oh god. Are you prepared to curve to see the sign goes to the ice park in line? Blah 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 blah. I can't see. 4988 Road in North Africa, Mexico, Tamil, right? I remember that address. Chip or some kind, I guess. Oh, okay, go into the phone. Help! Dad! Sean! Where are you? I'm so cold! Dad! Dad! Oh my god, that's some really bad acting. How far are you prepared to go to save someone you love? Am I being tested or something? What the fuck's going on? Why were I not make figures? Each figure is a chart. Each chart provides letters. The letters reveal an address. Okay. I'm gonna get back my child. I know that for sure. I guess I'm going to this place address. You know what? I don't know where this place is, but this place is miserable. It always rains here. Good lord. <laughs> what a miserable place to fucking live. Man, I say this, man. If you get your kid back, move somewhere else. Move to Florida. Someplace nice and sunny, or the beaches. And get yourself a nice lady, and you know, maybe bring your wife along so the wife won't miss the fun. Say, hey, you can come with us, uh, well, not come with us because I separated, but you know what I mean. Like, just come to Florida, and, you know, whatever. So, that is just where they live. It's horrible. I'd be depressed 24 7. <laughs> I mean, I love the rain, don't get me wrong, but I don't think I could do that. Every day. Nope. All right. Well, black screen's back again. All right. Okay. You know what? All these videos. 
I keep recording an ending, and for some reason, it just cuts me off every time. I don't know why. It really makes me mad. It really makes me mad. And what the fuck? Come on, game. Hurry up. Why are you doing this to me? I'm trying to record. Why is it every time I try to record something? This damn... Everything just goes wrong. Finally, take your damn time. It's not like I have an audience. Well, I probably don't, so I'm probably fine. <laughs> the killer is white, aged between 30 and 45. He doesn't act on impulse, but plans his crimes in a very meticulous fashion. He doesn't have anything personal against the victims. That's why he covers their faces with mud, to make them anonymous. Why does he kill them if he doesn't have anything against them? For him, they're more of an image, a symbol. That's probably why he gives them an origami figure and an orchid as gifts to apologize for what he's done to them. Very interesting. And where does all that get us? I'm gonna stay calm. The best way of tracking a predator is to be familiar with his behavior. That may be true in novels, but there's a child's life at stake here. Continue, Jaden. Then I studied the geographical distribution of the murders. Generally, a killer commits his first murder near to where he lives, so he has a safe place to flee to if any complications arise. The more confident he becomes, the further he roams from his base. By analyzing the locations where the victims disappeared, I was able to isolate a zone where the killer might live. And what size is this, uh... Zone. I don't like the guys in that. For the moment, about 10 square mile. Ah, oh, great. There must be 10,000 people live in that sort of area. You gonna question them one by one? Come and call. The more clues we get, the more we can reduce the zone. We can then cross check it with our list of suspects and identify the killer. One detail attracted my attention. The interval between the time when a victim disappears and the time when the body is found ranges from three to five days. But the rainfall is always at six inches, give or take 10%. Six what inches. on earth does that mean? All the victims are drowned in rainwater. Six the killer kills up, only in the fall when there is plenty of rain. It could be that he puts them in some sort of well or tank that is open to the skies and that fills up with rainwater. Why am I constantly having to put The more it rains, the less time the victim has to live. So what's next? There are two suspects whose psychological profile might fit and can be connected to the comfort zone. I'd like to question them. Ah, damn it. We're wasting our time with this bullshit. The killer's out there somewhere, we gotta get off our asses and find him. The killer is no ordinary murderer. He is intelligent, organized, and methodical. You won't find him by patrolling the streets. Tell me, Agent Jaden, did you get your fast experience on the job, or did you just fucking read about it in some school book? I read it on your mom, okay? I came <laughs> here to find a killer, and that is exactly what I'm gonna do, with or without your fucking help. Fucking asshole! That's enough! Dude, calm down. You said it took six inches of rainfall before the victim died. How much time do we have left? The weather forecasts are right. Less than 72 hours. Three days. That's not a long time. No answer. We waste our time coming here. Maybe we should have a little look inside anyway. There's nobody home. I see, this is why people don't like there cops. <laughs> I'm not sure that's entirely legal. It's not legal. Call the cops. I will. If I could. Well, y'all assholes. Well, not all, but you. Definitely an asshole. 
Oh my goodness gracious, what's up with all the crucifix? Looks like Nathaniel Williams is a pretty religious guy. He's a God-fearing idiot, waiting for the end of the world. We questioned him a few months back because he was causing a disturbance in the park. He was ranting and raving. Said he heard voices. I hear voices. Had this idea in his sick little head that I was the Antichrist. I'd come to Earth to persecute him. Real twist. Oh my god. Can I get over here? Who sleeps like that? Crazy people. That's. I could have just opened the door. I'm pretty sure it wasn't like a walker or anything. There's more medication. How much medication does this still have? I got a lot of goddamn candles, that's for sure. Oh shit, someone's home. You didn't hear him do that? Really? Okay. Good timing, Nathaniel. Just the man we're looking for. What's up, Nathaniel? Angels and ministers of grace. I almost defense. named my son Nathaniel. I'm Agent Norman Jaden, FBI. I'd like to ask you a few questions. As God is my witness, I haven't done anything. I'm innocent. Relax. Nobody's accusing you of anything. We just want to talk. Where do you work, Nathaniel? Do you have a job? My sole occupation is praying to the all-merciful Lord for the salvation of humanity. I guess that's a good job. Why all the crucifixes? You afraid of something? The hour is nigh. And the wrath of God shall strike men down. I'm preparing for the end of the world. Okay. You were arrested in a case where a child disappeared from a park. What exactly happened? I'm innocent. I have nothing to do with those murders. I was in the park because God spoke to me. I was arrested because I am the chosen one. That's all. What about right. the voices, Nathaniel? Do you still hear the voices? We know who talks to you, don't we, Nathaniel? Or we both know who talks to you. I don't know who talks to him. Who talks don't to him? Speak that name. What name? Voldemort? What does he say to you, Nathaniel? Okay. I can't talk about it. You mustn't talk about it. He well, orders Blake, you to go and find new doing? prey, doesn't he? He needs more and more. No! You mustn't mention him! You'll bring him here! He told you to go and find That's that kid enough. in the park! Leave the him voices alone! The tormented you all night long! You wanted them to stop, Dude. didn't you, Nathaniel? Dude, we're not getting anywhere with you yelling and being an ass. Stop! Stop! That's enough! So you obeyed them, to make them stop! You Carter took that shit. boy with you and you drowned him! Your mind? Isn't that right? No! Stop! Stop! You killed them, didn't you, Nathaniel? Are you gonna confess, you bastard? You are the Antichrist. Put down the gun, I Nathaniel. Down to your father in hell. Go ahead, shoot him, Nathaniel. I'm not gonna smoke him. He was like sent to anyway. to destroy us. For Christ's sake, shoot! 
You're not gonna kill the Antichrist with a revolver, Nathaniel. He's much too powerful for Antichrist, that. Antichrist, my ass! Get that gun out of my face! Now gently put the gun down on the floor. Team, you shall regret confronting the emissary of the Lord. You Thank shall you know well. divine power. Concentrate on my voice, Nathaniel. Listen only to my voice. Christ, all powerful. Defend us in our battle with the forces of evil. Protect us from the cunning and wiles of the demon. May God Almighty manifest the power of his empire. And may divine power cast Satan and all the other spirits that prowl the world in search of souls into the darkest depths of hell. Keep calm. Everything is going to be fine, Nathaniel. Back away, slowly. Now drop the gun. Drop it, Nathaniel. Put your hands on your head. Turn around. In the name of the Lord, I exorcise thee, Satan. Okay, freak, the show's over. You're under arrest. Dude, man, Nathaniel, you almost got shot. He's lucky. Pretty damn cool under the surface. You know, I got, got a little fast I would've just shot him. A gun isn't the answer to every problem, Blake. Maybe not, but most of the time it helps. Yeah, Blake. Stupid motherfucker. <laughs> All right. Ooh, okay. That was intense. Yay, Shelby, my favorite. I'm gonna do his and then I'm gonna end this story. Good lord, with the fucking long ass intros, whatever. Health is this? There's a baby. Someone has to be home. Okay, well. Maybe there's another door or another way. Let's see. Knife graffiti. Nope, there's the back door. Cool. Let's see if I can get through the back door. This is Bowles. Anybody home? Hello, little cutie. Oh, you looking for your mama?
Oh, more notes on the floor. Cause he like leaves notes on the oh, floor. Jesus. I can't see what that says, but okay. Wait a minute. Um. Jug out of her mind, probably. Mrs. Bowles, Mrs. Bowles, are you there? Can you hear me? Wake up! Wake up! I'm gonna call an ambulance. No, I... I don't want to go to the hospital. Please. Okay. You got something around here I can dress this wound with? Yeah. I think so. Okay. Don't move. I'll be right back. Where's she gonna go? Let's see. I need this. And this. And this. This and this and this and this, okay. I'm here for you, Susan. You'll be all right. I'll take care of it. Stay with me, Susan. Susan, do you hear me? Susan, stay with me. Can you hear me? Stay with me. Okay, come on. There, I don't want to can. Really? That was it? Stop the bleeding. Well, luckily, the wounds aren't too deep. Hey. You have a lot of blood. Okay. Thought she'd cut both her wrists. My baby. My baby needs me. Oh, now she gives a fuck about her baby. Right. Yeah, sure, you, you stupid bitch. I'll take care of the baby. Okay? I feel like you care about the baby. Do you know what to do? With a baby, I mean. I'm a private eye. There's nothing I can't do. <laughs> Her name is Emily. Gotcha. Thank you. Let's go, let's go attend to Emily because her mom's a, a horrible mother. Oh no. Just go wash your hands first. Can't test the baby with bloody hands. Come in, Emily. Give me a second. Gotta wash my hands. Cause your mom's a bitch. Your mom's an idiot. Hi there, Emily. So, what seems to be the problem, huh? Oh! <laughs> Going by the smell? I got a pretty good idea. Hi, right, Emily. Got such a big old head. Big old head, baby. It's a cute kid. Okay. How do you do this again? Hmm? 
happy baby. Yay. <laughs> My fingers don't go like that. There you that. go, fresh new baby. That should feel better. Right, Emily? Mm -hmm. Hey, no, I what's the matter? I thought we solved the problem. Maybe she hungry. I guess I better warm this thing up. All right, Emily. More coming. Calm your tits. Oh, it's ready. Just tilt this ball a little bit so you don't choke. Oh, kind of reminds me when I used to feed my children. It's so cute. Oh. Then they grow up to be fucking rats. Burp the baby. Burp. Nice. Oh, good job, Emily. Hmm? You're feeling good now, right? She's <laughs> fucking fed and now, changed and a happy little baby. I'm rock you very gently so you can have a nice little snooze. Okay. All right. Oh, that's Oh, goodbye, Emily. La 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 la. Dude, I wish my kids all sleep like that. <laughs> Alright. Let's go see what this mom is doing over here. Cause I was in here for a reason. Not to fucking babysit. Thanks for looking after my baby. No problem. I didn't want to leave her. What? I just couldn't cope anymore. Just not having Jeremy around. He was such a good boy. I can't understand why anyone would want to hurt him. Do you take care of this baby on your own? Doesn't Jeremy's father live with you anymore? He disappeared. The day after Jeremy. I don't know what happened to him. Maybe... Maybe he couldn't take it. Ever since I've had to look after Emily all on my own and... I couldn't do it anymore. I understand. Did your husband say anything before he disappeared? Did he leave a note or something? No. He left the house without a word and... There was just a cell phone. A cell phone? Yeah, I, I found a cell phone in his dresser. I'm sure... It wasn't his, I'd never seen it before. I tried to turn it on, but it didn't work. Do you still have it? Yeah, it's um, it's in a drawer in the living room. You can have it if you'd like. I'm sure it's of more use to you than to me. Do you have any family or anybody to help you? Yeah, my mother. 
I didn't want to ask her for anything. We don't really get along. But I guess I'm out of options. I guess you are. Well, look after yourself. And Emma. I will. I promise. I feel like I'm trying to leave Emily with this lady. I feel like it's a horrible idea. Alright, she said there was a thing around here that's more. Um, okay, walk. Oh, there's some drawers over there. 